All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Rash. Give honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk with them, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Uh, another uh, quick little hit. A, uh, uh, a video I've been I've been watching. Apparently, there's this channel called David Hoffman. Uh, he's a Edomite from the looks of it, but he likes to chronicle so-called American Black history. You know, because these these Edomites have a, a have a obsession with us. You know, they want to they want to see, you know, how far we can pee. You know, how many uh, how much our spit is. You know. Uh, how many boogers you got in your nose? They, they love it, knowing everything about Jake. But he's, I get, he does his, these interviews, all right, or used to. And you have here these Jake. We're talking about the Israelites' condition. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. How our condition was in like the mid 1900s. All right, uh, post slavery. All right, but before and slightly after women's liberation and civil rights and how our condition in that time period was better than our condition now all right hey integration uh and as you can see you know i watched a couple of these one says integration ruined the black community says how integration hurt black people uh before integration black schools taught value the unity of southern black community before integration you know, just look at these pictures, these three older Jakes. Look at how they're dressed and look at the countenance of their face. All right. Yeah, they're still, you know, they're just they're just, they're in the world. You know, they didn't know the truth. But look at their look at what he's he got glasses on a beard about him. You know, them two, the other two shaven. But you can look at the bottom one. Look how he dressed. He you know, he dressed. He got his shades on. They weren't in that thugged out nigga spirit, which is the whole point. Esau introduced many devices to make sure that we fell all right apparently you know listening to these videos doing research between 1860 and 1920 was when we jake was on was on effing top apparently all right jake had all together 20 million acres of land we had all of our own cities because we weren't allowed to be around you devils so we built up our shit on our own all right but what did esau do he a he can't have before we celebrate I'll the freedom skip this. most Americans have, we must fight for the freedom all Americans deserve. In the black community, we were prepared. He can't have men like this in the household. Not saying this dude is a st super stand-up guy or a man of the Lord, but he couldn't have. Esau would not allow us. He does not want us with masculine men in the household with some sort of wits about themselves that was going to continue to pass that down. He made sure that he warped our minds in a culture that is self-destructive and constantly uh constantly taking away it's not adding to the people it's taking away from the people all right which is why now that we know this truth it's it's our responsibility to cheat uh teach it all right uh salakia it's not our responsibility to teach it all right sarak 30 and 3 it says he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy and before his friends he shall rejoice, rejoice of him, all right? Because when you teach your son, when you teach your descendants, they continue on, all right? They keep the lineage, the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai going. Esau didn't want none of that. That's why, hey, that's why, hey, okay, look, if this devil did not want us to segregate with him, he would not allow us to have segregated. He, we would still be in our, there would still be signs up saying no dogs, no, uh, no dogs, no Irish, no blacks, all right? No dogs, no Mexicans, no blacks. But he, he wanted it. He was like, damn, you know what? This this is going to work excellent. We'll dumb them down. We'll make them stupid. We'll integrate everybody in, all right, from the elite's perspective. And we'll just, make, we'll just take all their money, all right? Fuck it. Instead of just having two separate groups, we'll just combine them into one big, dumb, stupid group, all right? We'll give them a culture that makes them consumers, to where all they do is spend us uh, spend up their money and give us money all right we lend to them and they give us money and, and we'll just reap the benefits and that's what esau did that was his mindset they couldn't have nobody they they didn't want your granddad or your uncle or your pops in his house in your house a full head of hair full beard like this they had to get rid of that all right and that's why hey in this next verse it says this though his father died yet is he as though he were not dead for he hath left one behind him, 
that is like himself. So this devil knew exactly what he was doing by tearing down the fabric of our household, by tearing down the relationship of the Israelite man and the Israelite woman and the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American household, all right? And the Israelite foreigners, you know, scattered. This dude knew exactly what he was doing. It was no coincidence, all right? He allowed us to, 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 to come to his schools so he could destroy our people, all right? And, hey, our, our people uh, fucking fell for it. This is no different than this right here. Uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, this is no different. What happened in the 19 Women's Liberation Whenever that came about, 1950s or 60s, there's no different from Genesis chapter 3. And we're going to start at verse uh, 1. I'll start at verse 1. I'll probably read through 5. Genesis 3 and uh, 1. It says, Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field, which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai had made. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, hath the most high power said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So, and we know that this spirit that was of the serpent, which was a wicked man, all right, not a snake fucking slithering around water in the air and dirt. This is the same spirit that's in these Edomites today. That's why they constantly do the same thing, all right? Hey, you can't, it's, it's very hard to brainwash a man, but it's very easy to brainwash a woman. And once you brainwash the woman, then you can brainwash the man because she will raise the children up in the manner of which she was taught. All right. And, th and that's what this devil did. And that's why he went to. That's why he went to Eve. All right. First two and the, the trees, uh, every tree of the garden to be dealing with the other people's in the garden with the different uh uh going into the different philosophies all right going into the shit that was not given to us all right adam and eve was given strict commandment of what what to and what uh they couldn't follow all right and the serpent goddamn b the serpent beguiled her out uh beguiled her out of it so like y'all uh so like just got to damn fist fight with a b all right verse two it says and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the Most High Power hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. So, hey, in the Eve understood. Uh, she was like, Well, you know what? The Heavenly Father said we shouldn't we shouldn't deal with this type of stuff, and that's why it usually it's never an instant process. It's an overnight process. That's why. Let, let me see. You type up women's liberation, all right? Esau Edom, hey, this took this this took years in the making, all right? It wasn't a, and not all the Israelite women agreed with this type of shit because they knew what would be the result. They knew that this wasn't the way. And I just typed it in the first picture you see, a bunch of black women. Who was oppressing you? The white man, not us, not your man, all right? Hey, she knew that she was like, you know what? I, I, I don't know. And, and the women today... That's why it took years, decades for shit to finally kick in because our people, our people knew better, but they didn't do better. All right. Just like Eve didn't do better. It says, and the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die for the most high power doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil. All right. Verse six. Now I got to keep going. So the snake was able to beguile her. Esau, Edom beguiled our people. Say, yeah, rat, rat, get that rat. Rap, here, get this money, get this money. Shoot, yeah, pistols, Uzis, Tex, AK-47, sag your pants. Kill, yes, uh, 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 beat up, kill your own people. Yes, F that, F that in word, hate him, uh, 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 hate her. Uh, you know, hey, Esau, Esau put that, and we all understand this is the curses first and foremost for our people's wickedness, but Esau was the tool that the Heavenly Father used to do it, all right? So now verse six, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eye. So when she was hey, she said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to give in to it. All right. I'm going to give in to what the other trees of the garden are doing around us. It says in a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her. And he did eat. So she gave in to that wickedness and she convinced Adam to do so. All right. And the same thing happened back then. The women's liberation started with the women uh, then it trickled over 
to the men. Why? Because the sons that they would have been producing, they would have indoctrinated with this BS. They would have, and, and now look at us. And now look at our people. Now look at our people. We had beards and glasses on. All right, our own banks and businesses, our own schools, and 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 now look at us. All because of this this wicked ordeal. And Esau Edom did this intentionally. All right, and and he's gonna suffer for that. Matter of fact, kind of. I, I got these two uh, oldies but goodies. All right, uh, Isaiah thirty-one and three says. Now the Egyptians are men and not the most high power, and their horses are flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they shall fall, and they shall fail, and they shall all fail together. So Esau Edom for setting us up for being the one that keeps pulling us away from the Lord, for being the evil damn demon that keeps influencing us to do wickedness. He's going to be destroyed. And for our wicked ass people for believing that wickedness are going to be destroyed. All right. Both of them is going to go down. All right. Isaiah 36 now and six. It says, lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed, uh, which is now in today's time Esau Edom, because our people had a history of running to Egypt whenever something went wrong. The very nation that the heavenly father delivered us from, our people would run right back to. And you see that in today's time. We are now in the want of all things for this devil. Why? Because he crippled us in this era now, uh, these pictures that I got up in this time period when he deceived our woman and Bray. Hey, now Jake, all Jake knows just don't have no no get up and go about theyself. Don't have no self help type of spirit about them. They trust in the Esau Edom the same way that their mother was taught to trust in Esau Edom. All right, and all, and all of us were affected by this, and now that affected by this Salakia, and now that we have the truth. We're beginning to shake off this mentality, all right? This is nothing. This is Genesis chapter 3 all over again. Nothing nothing new under the sun, all right? It says, uh, Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, wherein if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh the king of Egypt to all that trust in him. So if you trust in this devil, you're going to be pierced by him, all right? The same way that our people... Oh man, let us in, white man, Martin Luther King, let us in, and now look at us. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that. <laughs> now, I just typed this in. Somebody should make memes out of this. Look at his face. Look at his face. He know he fucked up. Them last couple of moments he had alive, them last 11 months, in his hell, he he was probably going through it. I mean, in his mind, he was going through hell. The demons was, he knew that he's a sellout coon, he's a shuckster liar, all right? Apparently, he was all types of extra devious and wicked, too. Apparently, he was on the lowdown. But he, he at them last moments of life, he was like, man, you know what? I just fucked my fucking people over, dude. I just F my people over, all right? So I'm going to let this play, and I'll end it. Hey, hey, our, this dude was, was in, integral in our people being in this extremely low condition now that we're in, in 2020. Fuckers. This November. I'll turn the volume down. Goddamn bastards. What the comments say? These fucking retards. Okay, let me turn it up now. At a Mason Temple. Wow. Yeah, he is plugged in. He he plug he come on, he is plugged in, y'all. He is plugged in. Here, I'm gonna turn it sideways. I'm going to turn it sideways. All right, let's get it. We've got to give ourselves to this struggle until the end. Nothing would be more tragic than to stop. Hang on. Okay, come on right here. So I guess it's actually, there's no clip of it. It's, a, it's an actual statement that uh, a man named Harry Bonfent, Belafonte claimed that he made. All right, which, hey, I'm, I'm pretty sure he made it. Now, we're going to start right here, then I'll end it, I'll read it. We're going to be reading through this little part. It says, according to Belfonte, King responded, I've come upon something that disturbs me deeply. We have fought hard and long for integration, as I believe we should have, and I know we will win. But I have come to believe that we are integrating to a burning house. I'm afraid that America has lost the moral vision she may have had. And I'm afraid that even as we integrate, we are walking into a place that does not understand that this nation needs to be deeply concerned with the plight of the poor and the disenfranchised. So basically what he's saying, uh, he, he knew that 
damn, I'm setting my people up for the okie doke. You niggas is about to think the grass is greener, and you about to find out that the grass is meaner, all right? And that's exactly... Uh, uh, that's ex that's exactly what happened. Our people was tricked into this simple state now. Everything, hey, oh shit. Okay. Hold up, hold up. Connor, right? If you type this in, uh Lear Cohen, the tall Jew. There used to be a whole documentary. I guess YouTube used to type uh, must have took it down, but it was called The Tall Jew in the Room, all right? Or The Tall Jew of Rap. This d devil Hey, he basically, he was one of the main people, hey, and the brother I know of our camp, he had brought out this article. They made sure we was going to be destroyed. They made sure all we thought about and cared about was wickedness and killing each other. All right, but type up this dude. You probably watch this first clip up here. That's 1701. All right, and you see other rappers speak about him, how much they know he's wicked. Even though they know what they're doing is wicked, they still just want to get their money. But, you know, that's about it taking it all the way back to beginning with this you know hey we a hey, this is a, a a setup plan we didn't just end up like this you know out of nowhere all right we're our people are better than this and and it's it's it's, it's no secret all right so with that i'm gonna give all praises to you how about shim how shy about shim the elders and apostles great millstone Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akim. Walk, walk, and learning, teaching the truth and sincerity. Mr. Shalom.